Hi everyone and welcome to another tech discussion by Royx Technologies. With over a decade of experience in e-commerce, mobile application and website development, we are now going to discuss the formula for creating a successful mobile application. My name is Lee Pillay and with me is Rajib Roy. Hello everyone, I am Rajib Roy. I am running this company for last 10 years from 2013. We have developed several mobile applications and based on that experience I wrote a book, Million Dollar Apps. Uh, it is available on Amazon. Based on this book actually we are going to discuss how actually you can make a successful mobile application. Means a worth more than a million dollar. Fantastic, fantastic. So we're going to deep dive into this. There are three key stages within the development of a successful mobile application. That is your pre-development, your actual development and then the post-development. Today in this uh, discussion we're going to delve into the pre-development side of it and Rajiv I think we're going to kick off with the idea component. Exactly. Now everyone, everyone would have an idea, sometimes it comes at strange places but an idea nonetheless to create a brilliant application. Now this idea needs to be able to meet a particular demand in the market mm -hmm. or needs to be able to fill that gap. Maybe it's a niche market. What are your thoughts in terms of the ideation? So the idea is very important. So whenever any startup actually are planning to start their mobile application, they have a, a mindset actually, they, the, the company is going to be a million dollar company, is a billion dollar company in future, right? So is the idea valid for that? Yeah. So some idea actually, so uh, what, the idea, what kind of idea, suppose whenever the startup comes, they are trying to solve some problem actually of the society, right? So people are not able to do some current kind of thing, they are actually uh, solving mm. that thing with their mobile application. So how many people are getting a benefit uh, from this application? So is it a thousand, is it a million, is it a billion, or is it, what is the number actually? Mm. So it depends actually, so if your application can serve actually huge amount of people, the success rate is going to be very high. Just mm. think about a Facebook, it can actually serve a billion uh, people. Mm. It's, mm. Uh, to be a billion, a billion dollar company, it needs actually a small fraction actually of the people because it's actually serving a huge amount of uh, the population, yeah? Mm. And think mm. about a, a application are just like a cafe, yeah? So they are actually giving the the, the full servicing in, in, in specifically in Dubai, right? Mm. So is the number of people is not too much mm. so it is not very easy to actually uh, go beyond the dubai so if they're going for the abu dhabi they need a, a another another uh, setup there they're going yeah. to other country they need a, another big setup right mm. so mm. it is not very easy to actually expand so there uh, the limitation is there and so a possibility to be a big company mm. is actually less so the idea that's why actually very important actually how we actually generate the idea and idea need to be validated in a in way mm. but what actually we are suggesting whenever you have the idea so you have to write it down all the idea in, in a paper and then you have what you have to do you have to just find out actually the what is the problem it is going, going to solve mm. yeah mm. and what is your solution mm. how is it actually going to solve that problem and what is your business model so okay fine you are doing all those things but there is no business model of that so mm. there is no meaning actually making the application so what is the business model of this thing and what is the price so how you are actually charging the money is it affordable for every people or is it for certain mm. people and what kind of feature you are going to actually use it so that it is can be uh, differentiated from the other application absolutely yeah? so all those things you have to be uh, understand you have to be answered by yourself then you can actually find out okay this is actually the one of the best idea maybe it can come up mm -hmm. and as as you mentioned as well you know that that application needs to stand out right yes. so so there is an element of it being unique exactly. so 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 you as you generating these ideas or you have that idea you need to also you know deep dive a little bit to make sure that you've got some uniqueness behind it that can meet a particular market demand true that's we call actually the virality mm -hmm. yeah so you should have some virality element yeah mm -hmm. just think about the uh, about the snapchat when the snapchat ca uh, come there is a storyboard is there the idea is a very simple uh, you can actually upload some picture or the video it will stay for 24 hours after that it will be disappear mm -hmm. yeah it's mm -hmm. a simple idea but this is this is become actually the virality actually on the application huge amount of people are study using it absolutely yeah? uh, think about the tiktok what, what happened there Mm, so mm. the idea is actually only a 15 second video will come there and anyone can make a video can add, add a images can add a uh, uh, music 
and make a video and mm. you can actually scroll on uh, unlimited actually right you sure. can just scrolling scrolling yeah infinite yeah. scrolling is there so that kind of virality is there so that's why it's become very easily popular absolutely so anyone whenever actually developing application any idea is generating they also need to find at the same time why people are going to use it mm. and why people are going to recommend it to the other people that virality need to be there sure similar to to the word vi virality is validity Mm -hmm. So now that's another key component, right? Yeah. As we, uh, you mentioned it earlier, but there are ways in which you can validate your idea as mm -hmm. well. You know, to conduct some good market research, maybe to, to uh, you know, to put out some surveys or ask people what sure. they think about your idea. Yeah. What, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, so we, uh, the second stage actually of the, any mobile application development is the idea validity. So you have the idea, you need the validated idea. The, the way actually to do it, there is some, find out the size of your target market. That's I told you before. Mm. What is your target market and what is the size of it? If mm. the size is small, so think about uh, the pricing. You can't mm. make actually low price if the size is small. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, but the, the application, what we have seen actually become actually million dollar application. Yeah. Everyone actually are, is a, serving a huge amount of uh, people. So mm -hmm. the target market is actually one big factor. And what is the target audience looking for? So the target audience, what they're looking for. So that need to be actually you find out. So match your idea with the trending idea. So you have the idea. Mm -hmm. And what is the trending idea in the market? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So nowadays we can see that like chat GPT is actually the trending idea. Everyone want to develop anything. Include, they are trying to include the, uh, the AI component there. Mm -hmm. So is your idea, is AI component is there or not? Mm -hmm. Or what other thing is there? So just batch it with there. I'm not saying that, okay, you have to be actually follow the what actually market are looking. Sure. It's not always that. So you have to bring something new, uh, but just see actually what is the trending. Another one is actually sometimes uh, we are saying that, okay, you need to make the MVP, but pre-development stage, uh, as we uh, discussed before, uh, the MVP is not possible. It is in the development phase, but in the development phase, instead of developing the full application, you can make a very small, a simple MVP so that you can actually judge your idea with a targeted audience. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So, so again, you know, once we have that idea, once it's validated, mm -hmm. I think then then it's really down to planning for the execution. Exactly. And that that brings us to the next stage, which yeah. is which is an un a good understanding of. Your, your stakeholders, who are you going to engage with, and understanding the value chain of who actually is going to make use mm -hmm. of your particular application, yeah. right? True. So the planning for execution, so just think about you have a, a food delivery application. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So mm -hmm. so what, what is there? So there is some restaurant is there. You have a, you have an application for the customer. You should have an application for the restaurant to accept the order. There is some delivery company is there who actually going to be the deliver the product. So there's three component is there. Mm -hmm. How you are uh, how it is actually playing the role. Mm -hmm. So uh, whenever customer actually place the order, before that the restaurant need to upload all their product right mm -hmm. all their all their mm -hmm. food all their uh, the menu need to be available. The customer actually saw that menu they can actually place the order. Once you receive the order, the restaurant actually prepare the order and give it to the delivery people and delivery people can see that why the location of the your customer and mm -hmm. they are going there. So this is the, actually the uh, one way you understand actually how whole process will work. And to execute this process, yeah, in each stage, you need to actually make a proper plan how you are going to do it. So this is very important. That's actually the we are saying the planning for execution. Mm -hmm. Not only that, uh, the operational execution, uh, some other factor also need to be there. Suppose you are selling some uh, item. How do you actually source the item? So mm -hmm. that you have to be make a plan actually before that. And how easy to source it? Are you get, are you able to get it actually in a regular basis? Mm -hmm. Or is it actually a seasonal product you are getting? So that you have you should have on your uh, on planning. Yeah. So you need to have a good understanding of that operation exactly. that you, you you need to envisage it as best that, that you can True. so that you can plan for it in the right way. Yeah. But then this brings us to the next key point here, which is planning for marketing. Yes. Now this is crucial because ultimately once you have your application developed, people need to know about it. Mm -hmm. So you need to plan in advance. What, what are your thoughts around some key steps or elements of the planning for marketing? Look, marketing is a big budget. So uh, sometimes people actually thinking that okay, software development is actually the more important, uh, it's a costly one. Uh, but in my sense, the marketing is actually more costly. What we actually we have seen mm. actually, yeah. But if you don't know how you are going to do the marketing, but you start developing the project, I think it's actually meaningless. 
so before you have to do any any real development really you are spending the money so plan actually how you are going to do the marketing and how much you have to spend for that mm -hmm. and what uh, and there's some certain way you have to follow you have to make you have to make a strategy for the whole, whole marketing on this book actually so we uh, uh, discuss about a, a nine point marketing plan mm. so on this nine point marketing plan what we have so i'm not going for in depth actually so the uh, there's a first point is the app target market message to the target market marketing channel lead capturing system sales conversion uh, conversation strategy adding value to the customer how to increase customer lifetime value viral element to the to bring referral customer and yeah. user retention process so this is all are actually the nine points of a marketing plan so before you start developing the mobile application you have to actually make sure that okay you know all this plan you have to uh, make sure that okay you already plan it properly uh, mm -hmm. before going for the development yeah absolutely one of the things that comes to mind for me when i look at the nine point plan is the the, the value proposition and the messaging that that is so crucial because ultimately as you're going to develop your integrated marketing communications with different channels you need to have the consistent approach right yes. so um i think that's 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 super important you you start to mention in cost right from a marketing perspective but a, another stage or another element of the pre development that that we have is cost estimation yes now from a cost estimation perspective what we need to keep in mind is the development cost uh, you know for that application as you mentioned marketing can be much more but give us some some ideas or thoughts around the cost estimation and how we can go about understanding that okay cost estimation is not only for the uh, app development cost uh, you have to plan for the cost for everything mm -hmm. so uh, what do you what is actually the hiring cost what is the licensing cost and what is the manpower cost yeah mm. what is the app development cost to make keep the app running what is your your cost yeah and also for the marketing what is the cost everything you can actually make estimation okay this amount of cost actually is there and this is a basic idea i'm not talking actually you are writing in a very well structured way yes, at this stage yes, yes. it's just actually the in a ball figure okay you are planning actually something round actually will come up on the here mm. but after that so whenever you you know that okay cost estimation you need to find a financial projection yes so you cost estimation is actually basically it will give you the idea what is actually going to be cost mm -hmm. but financial projection means actually how much you are going to earn and how you are going to earn it yeah? yeah every month how many you are going to sell every year how many you are going to sell how many subscriber you have mm -hmm. and what is the money you actually charging for each one so in that way you have to make a financial projection yeah sure. so on this book actually you can find uh, a, a sheet on here so it, you can see a break even analysis so whenever any financial projection is there so there is a break even analysis is, is there so on the break even analysis you can see this uh, on this point the is break even happening so that means actually this have this period of the time uh, uh, we need to actually invest on the business mm -hmm. so if we just sum up all this amount so we can find what is actually minimum investment we need actually to run this business Absolutely. okay so whenever we are doing a break even analysis yeah we are making a three, three scenario one is actually standard i'm assuming that okay every month i can sell a, ta a tan item this mm -hmm. is actually the normally mm -hmm. okay now we can we have to think actually in other way that okay what happen if i'm selling only the five item Yeah. In that case, how long I need to be actually I need uh, to uh, to reach in the break even point? Okay, what happened instead of ten? If I selling, if I going to sell fifteen, mm -hmm. so three scenario is coming up, and three scenario we are making a three break even actually the uh, diagram, and we are assuming what is actually the minimum investment you need. Yeah. Okay, so that is fine, and after that also still we are trying to keep actually two to three month additional money. so that that is the minimum money we need to save ourselves before starting the business yeah mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. this one is including every as expenditure so the marketing starting the business licensing employee cost development cost after after uh, whenever you are running the business all yeah. these thing everything is included on here so this will give you a clear picture are you able to actually run this thing look 
in our 10 years journey we have developed several applications only 60 percent application actually always uh, going to be published sure. other 40 percent they never come up so what happened whenever a startup actually get, get any idea they become very excited mm -hmm. they come to us they said okay no i have this idea i yeah. want i know that okay this is going to be a million dollar company so i want to start it but mm -hmm. they didn't do any kind of calculation actually how much money they need to, to run the company right sure. so they start a company and whenever we, we finish the application, they, they found it, okay, they don't have enough money to actually keep it running. Mm. So mm. that's what I'm saying that okay, only 60% apps actually going live and other 40% never see the, actually the sunlight. Sure. So that's always happened. So is this, uh, on this stage, that financial strategy is very important. So financial okay. projection. So they have to be understand all those things. And there is some standard format is there. They have to follow the format yeah. so that they are not making any mistake on this part. Okay, fantastic. I think, yes, that's absolutely important. Also, from a financial projection point of view, I guess it depends how you're going to use the uh, financial projection. If you're going to, uh, you know, try to get an investor on board, you may need some so, detailed yeah. uh, statements, right? You know, you got your profit and loss statements, yeah. cash flow, balance sheets all of this is actually needed as part of your your business uh, plan as well in order to get the right kind of investment definitely any investor whenever they, they come they will ask you actually to give the, actually the position what is your position in a three years time in which position you want to go if you if you can't show them actually the right figure there is a no meaning actually running the business mm. right mm. so this is very important for the for running the business and also to get the investment from the other people absolutely okay coming to the last stage that we have or last element of the uh, the pre-development stage yeah. now this is the project definition summary exactly. right now this is an important section in order to summarize all the requirements that you have because you need to be communicating with multiple people including development teams True. right True. so so what can you tell us more about the project definition summary this is the last stage and actually maximum time what we see actually no one actually care about it no one actually want to write anything everyone feels that okay everything on their mind and it will work fine but it is not true mm -hmm. so is it whenever you are running a company it is not actually one person vision is ultimately in future there is a multiple stakeholder multiple team member will come up you have to share the vision to everyone so how do you share it the only way if you can document it and whenever you are going to develop the application and whenever you are going to actually go for the market and execution this document is very important mm -hmm. so there are different kinds of documentation is required so i'm just going to actually tell few document name so one is actually the business requirement document what kind of business requirement you need uh, there is a requirement of the technical requirement document dependency document assumption and restriction all this kind of document is actually required uh, at this stage and mm. you need to be prepared in a well formatted there is a standard format is available in the market you need to actually fill up in the well formatted so that you can pass this information to the other people and they can understand easily mm -hmm. I think that's crucially important because your vision sometimes is you know within your mind it's saying it might seem very very clear but you need to be able to relay that to the next person so the more uh, the more clear and concise your your documentation can be the better the sure. process can run as well I think this is great. Thanks so much for watching. This has been the pre-development stage and uh, it's part of the three stages, which is again pre-development, development and post-development. So we de we're definitely going to cover the rest within the next episode as well. Thank you for watching. Rajib, thank you. Thank you everyone.